Hello my gorgeous jelly babes, thank you for coming back and checking out my channel. So it's collab time, sorry group collab time. So the lovely Judy from Judinka Nails has hosted this fabulous wedding collab and we just had to say I do. Sorry, sad wedding pun, I know. <laughs> but they have come up with some gorgeous wedding themed nail designs. Uh, as you can imagine, Jelly Babes, there's a lot of hard work that goes into these clubs behind the scenes. So please go and show everybody that's participated some well-deserved love and watch their videos and click subscribe if you've not done so. Um, and yeah, to show support for all their fabulous hard work that they've put in to make this club a, su a success. So this is my design, so if you want to know how to do it, obviously you did, because that's why you clicked my video. <laughs> I'm going to get straight into the tutorial. So obviously I would have, if you were doing this, you want to apply two coats of white gel polish. I'm applying a no white top coat over that. And I'm using my Neo Nails Chrome Pigment over white as it adds that blue sheen to the nail. So, you know, there's something blue to the wedding and it just, it almost gives that pearl effect as well, which is also gorgeous. Um, so I really, really loved how this looked over the white. I'm just sort of buffing it into that layer a little bit more. And then to protect that, I'm going ahead and applying a top coat before I move on uh, to the stamping. So because I'm stamping, I'm applying my liquid latex just to make sure the cleanup is much easier than if it was stuck all over my fingers. So you want to just apply this and then allow it to dry. So I'm using this Uber Chic Love and Marriage Plate number one and I'm going to use a couple of images. So I've got this gorgeous wedding dress here and this sort of lacy type of image here. So I'm going to be doing like a layered uh, stamping technique. Um, just because I kind of wanted the stamping to stand out. I just thought if I just did it white, it probably wouldn't have, standed, have stood out that much. So I'm kind of doing like a shadowed effect. So isn't that image just beautiful? So I'm going to do it on all of my nails other than my ring finger because that is where I'm going to place the gorgeous dress. And then I'm just going to be going over that same image, but this time with a white stamping polish. I'm sorry, I'm rubbish at doing this on camera, so I'm not even going to bother trying. <laughs> I just wouldn't stamp it properly and you wouldn't see it anyway. So that is the look on all of the fingers. And now I'm going to move on to the dress. And again, I'm just doing the same process. I'm starting off with black and placing it on the nail. And I'm not going right to the tip of the nail or the cuticle area, shall I say, just because I'm going to add some more sort of beads and details on after that. And this is it with the white over the top. So that's how it all looks and I just felt like it needed just that little bit more bling. So I'm going to be adding some jemmies and some hollow glitters as well. So all details to everything that I've used in this uh, video today will be in the description box below. Um, so if you want to purchase it, then obviously you can. And obviously if I have got any discount codes, um, then use those as well. <laughs> it's all in the description box. So I just thought it needed just that little bit of pretty bling to the nail. So I'm adding these gorgeous sort of like hex hollow glitters. I think this is called hollow bullet actually available from Nail Artisan. So I'm just adding like a little bit of these glitters over the nails. I kind of wanted to add just that little bit of sparkle but I didn't want it to be sort of overkill. And then on the ring finger I am adding these rhinestones just over the top. Just to add that little bit more bling. So what do you think? Do you like it? Would you wear this to a wedding? I don't know. <laughs> um, so you want to just seal all this in with a top coat and this is the end look. I think it is super pretty and with this sort of little bits of hollow shining through it just has that bling factor to it as well. So I really hope that you like it Jelly Babes. Thank you for coming and checking out this tutorial. If you're new to my channel then please press that gorgeous subscribe button and here's a collage of all of the designs of all the uh, ladies that have taken part. So please check out their videos also. And to finish it off, I just want to thank Judy for hosting this gorgeous collab. Thank you for having me um, with you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.